Hey guys, welcome back. I'm um, just making a quick video tonight. Um, Got to do a little fiberglass resin on this back door for this uh, for the pole position cabinet. Um, I, it's going to be the easiest way I think to fix this. I don't really feel like cutting the wood out. It's a back door. As you can see, somebody busted the wood on both sides of this grate. Now, normally these grates slide out. Okay, you could slide them out paint them and put them back in but for this scenario and what we got going on here i'm just going to leave the grate in there tape this off and pour fiberglass resin to fill this gouge here and this gouge over here um and then the grate will obviously be permanently stuck in the back door but i don't see that really being a problem so i need to do that that's all i'm going to do on this video is get the resin in there and i'm just going to let it cure overnight um, and then uh, probably tomorrow night, I will work on getting this uh, all body worked and in primer and also the back door for the um, paper boy. And I'm gonna get the paper boy cabinet in the basement. There's a couple bolts here I need to take off and a, just a random screw. Those are just kind of hanging out there. I don't know what those were for, but I um, don't know. I don't think I'm gonna worry about, I'm not gonna worry about putting screws into this one. You know how when I fixed that corner on the pole position cabinet, I had ran a couple screws in there on an angle. Not gonna do it on this because this metal grate is gonna kinda of act as my piece that's going to help hold it to that because this is a nice solid stiff piece of metal. So let me get some material set up here, some tape, Probably gonna need some plexiglass and a few other things. So let me get that and we're gonna get those two uh, filled in. Okay, I got a bunch of different materials here. First thing I think I wanna do is put some tape on the bottom side here. And we shouldn't get fiberglass in the holes that are visible. If I do, once it's dry, I'll just redraw the hole out. I'm using this cheaper masking tape because it's stickier than like the masking tape I use for painting. But of course it doesn't want to come off, right? So this sticks a little bit better. I think what I'm gonna do is go like this and wrap it right around the top. Yeah, the only other way to fix this really would be to cut this out or cut this a big square out or make a new back door. And I'm not getting into all that. I'd rather leave the original back door. So we got that. So I wonder if we take a piece of plexiglass, cut a piece off with my knife. Doesn't need to be real straight. Ah, my knife is dull. Yeah, it's not gonna cut. There we go. And we're, we don't need, this doesn't need to be a perfect cut. This is just scrap leftover um, stuff. So if I put this here, I need to put a piece here and here as well and tape it all together. So I guess we'll put this here. We have to drill a couple holes in it. You wanna make sure you drill a hole that's a little bit bigger than your screw itself because you don't want your screw to go through the plexiglass and crack it. Um, I, I usually like to use Lexan because you can drill Lexan, you can bend Lexan, but I don't have any scraps of that right now. So I gotta go use this. And we're gonna use this hole right here. I think we are. No, we're not. We gotta go wider out. Cracked it a little 
bit. Should be okay. And a little bit of holes I'm putting in the side of the particle board, I can cover them up afterwards. With a little body filler. It's okay that that cracked. So I'll just uh, hold it together like that. I have to put some tape on the bottom side here. Basically, we're just building a dam. To try to stop that from coming through. get the heat done because we're going to have to really dry this stuff so that it sets up fast so it doesn't spill everywhere. Doesn't have to look pretty, as long as it works. Just don't put tape on the inside where the uh, fiberglass is going because then it's going to stick to it. I guess you could sand it off, but I want to try to get this as good as possible so that I don't have to do a bunch of sanding because it's going to be kind of an awkward spot to be sanding in. got it walled off good enough. Let me go get the uh, heat gun. Put this stuff away. I'll leave my drill out for my uh, impact because I'm going to need that to take the screws back out. All right, let me go grab a couple more things. Okay, um, if you guys remember when we did the cabinet, I did Normally they say 10 drops per ounce, but we're gonna do 15, 16 ounces. 15, 16 drops like I did on that corner and I was able to get it to dry really fast. Hopefully I don't have to open up another container of resin. I do have, actually I think I have an open five gallon or a gallon pail. Now nah, we should be good with this. I think this should be enough. As long as it doesn't run everywhere, we should have enough. And I got my heat gun ready because I really want to dry this as fast as I can to get it so it doesn't run. I put 32 drops because it's two ounces. So they had recommend 10 drops per ounce. 
So I went 16 drops per ounce to hopefully get this to set up really fast. So I'm going to stir it up really good. And hopefully we can get this in here. I think I want to do it this direction maybe. You zoom in. Start with this corner here. Of course, I kicked the tripod. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to go on this side and get this poured so that we can start drying it. It's a little high and I don't care because it will sand down. What's nice is because I'm doing two corners, I can run the heat on this corner for a minute, go to that one and keep going back and forth. Right now, the heat gun's really blowing around the resin. You can see it moving from the wind. That'll stop soon. This side sank down a little bit, so I'll take a little bit off this wood here and shove it in. It's dripping. I did put a towel underneath here. And I see where it's dripping, actually. That other hole that was drilled in the plastic. Take a piece of tape, cover over that. Okay, I think that side's starting to set. Yeah, this side's dripping pretty good. I think what I'm gonna have to do is mix up a little bit more, but if I can get this first layer to harden up a little bit and stop dripping, then I can mix up some more and we can put it over the top. Basically use this as like the first layer to seal up the areas.
All right, I'm gonna grab a little bit more real quick. All right. This one has a couple pinholes in it, so hopefully that'll be all right. Yeah, I'm actually gonna heat this again first. It's okay if it runs out onto the wood into a puddle because I'll just sand it down flush. So basically by heating that first layer up, it's warm. And then I poured this on top and now I'm heating this. So hopefully the warmth from the first layer and then what I'm blowing on it now will get this to seal up. Still dripping, but Seems like it's not moving it down as quickly, hopefully. Looks like it's starting to gel up. smoking a little bit. It will do that. You got to be careful. That's hard enough to where it won't uh, drip anymore. Just gotta get this other side hardened up. And now we can untape it. And we'll just let it sit overnight to cure really well so that tomorrow we can get the bodywork done on both of these. And uh, get these things painted this weekend. And then the only left thing left I have to do for the pole position is make a new cardboard bezel for the monitor which I ordered the cardboard from Amazon days ago, said it was delivered today, I never got it. So I might not have that till next week. Um, so I gotta make that and I need to clean the power brick. And I also need to clean the power brick for Paperboy. That one is really bad. So that one's gonna take a lot of work. Um, I think I'm just gonna paint them gold. I like the, when I paint them gold with spray paint, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I have to fully disassemble them though. So 
for that I can paint them. Could you imagine trying to build these corners with just Bondo? You probably could do it if you taped it off like this and you took your Bondo spreader and, and mashed it in there. But I like this liquid better because it gets in all the pores and everything. You know, it really soaks in there. Okay, I think we're hard enough. Let's see if we can untape this. I want to get this tape out of the resin. Can full. Garbage can's always full. So we got a little bit of resin in a few of the holes, and then we'll just drill that out tomorrow with the drill bit. So as you can see, we have the corners pretty much back. This one might be a little bit off goes like this a little bit of an angle so i'll just build that out with a little bit of filler but yeah we'll let this dry now and then we'll be able to sand it down and uh it'll work it'll work really well so this is a quick video tonight guys figured i would show you how i was going to repair that the easy way um i'll be back tomorrow to work on these and that's probably all I'll do tomorrow afternoon is work on these and get them in primer. I need to move the paperboy cabinet into the basement. I need to take the um, pole position cabinet out of the spray booth so we can get primer on these two doors. Um, I am picking up that Stargate cabinet tomorrow, which is going to be a Tetris. Um, so don't meet, beat me up on that. Just like the Pac-Man over here, it's being a Miss Pac-Man. But these aren't my decisions. They're not my games. So I do what people want. Um, and I need to dig out my Stargate tomorrow too, or maybe Saturday I will, um, because I want to work on that one. That's my next game I want to finish up. So I want to at least get the cabinet um, body worked and painted and in the basement. So then I'll have two projects down there that need to be put together, the Paperboy and the Stargate. And then after that, I am ready to put the temp do the Tempest. And the Tempest, 99% sure we're going to have to cut the bottom of the cabinet off maybe six, eight inches off the bottom, put a new bottom on it, put new bottom edges on the cabinet, and then we'll probably end up laminating the sides of the cabinet because by laminating the sides of the cabinet after I replace that wood, um, it, it seals that seam from ever showing through the artwork. So we'll probably, I'll probably have to order two sheets of white laminate and we'll just put white laminate on the sides of the um, Tempest cabinet because it's going to get covered over with the Tempest artwork. So, all right, guys, that's going to end this video. Just a quick video. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. Um, I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers. If I can just get more people to watch the videos now, that would be awesome. I don't get a ton of views, maybe a couple hundred per video. I seem to keep getting a bunch of subscribers, but it seems like what happens is like weeks or a month later, I'll notice that like a bunch of views ended up happening on a video. So hopefully I can get more people to watch the videos as I make them. So please like, subscribe, share, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, guys.